I'd like to welcome everybody to the 11th annual Green Carpet event here at Northwest State Community College. I'm Joel Miller. I am the president of the Board of Pro Trustees and also the MC for our event tonight. And we're glad that you can join us online as we celebrate in a, a COVID world that is a little different, but still here to support the students and Northwest Ohio through Northwest State Community College. So we really appreciate you joining us here tonight. We've got a great lineup of award winners tonight and some fun as well. So thank you for being a part of our green carpet event again this year for the 11th annual green carpet. The first thing we'd like to do tonight is we'd like to welcome up the president of Northwest State Community College, Dr. Todd Hernandez. Hello, my name is Todd Hernandez and I have the privilege of serving as the president at Northwest State Community College. I would like to take this time to thank you for attending the virtual green carpet event where we will be honoring the Making a Difference Award recipients. Each year, the foundation presents this award to a business, an organization, and an individual that has served our community and really helped strengthen our community. This aligns very well with the Northwest State Community College mission, which is to improve the lives of individuals and strengthen communities. So I appreciate you attending this virtual event and ask that you grab a bowl of popcorn, your favorite bread, beverage, and sit back and relax and enjoy the show. Thank you. Next on our night's agenda, we'd like to welcome up Pamela Steffi, a 2020 Northwest State Community College phlebotomy graduate for a student testimony as she's currently working to complete her medical assisting degree and be a phlebotomist at ProMedica Defiance Regional Hospital. She's provided the student perspective on the night and we're happy to have her along with us here virtually and in person tonight. Good afternoon, everyone. It's my honor to share my story with all of you. My name is Pamela Steffi, and I am original from Costa Rica. I moved seven years ago with my husband, who is original from Holgate, Ohio. I always dream of working in a medical field, helping and giving back to whoever is in need. Up and downs happen on the way to finish it, my degree, and didn't, but that didn't stop me. Then I decided to take the risk to jump into the big adventure to move to Ohio, living behind my family and friends to pursue the new challenges in my life. A good friend of ours offered me an opportunity in training to work in a home health care, and I took it. This is how my health care career began in U.S. After a year or so, my mother-in-law told me about a local nursing home was hiring. And of course, I applied. I become a certified SDNA and worked for them for about five years. I cannot express how thankful I am for everything I learned in this period of time, about how I appreciate more your loved ones, life, and your choices in life. During the time I work at the nursing home, I always keep looking to back to school to continue the nutrition career. I find out that just few schools around the area provide the program. When I knock the doors as, um, of the NSCC, or now what's the state, community college, for the MA and phlebotomy programs, that day was the day the mark to mark the rest of my life. That day was the beginning of my career, and that was in the spring 2019. NSCC made me feel welcome. The personnel who helped me took the time to see it with me and my husband. They explained the path to of Sussex. Explained me this step by step what I need to do in order to succeed. NSCC goal is giving us the opportunities and resources to make us succeed in our careers. Part of the success includes the foundation scholarships, thanks to the donors who won't make this happen. Without knowing the story behind every recipient and how much they help it. And NCC and the donors work together to make the students' dreams come through. Before this scholarship, I was taking just few classes at a time. 
I was going in a slow pace and I know it will take longer than I expected. You reduce my financial burden, which allows me to focus on my schoolwork and not to worry about how I am going to pay for school. I am so grateful to the donors of the Francis Frankler Scholarship who gave me the opportunity I needed to continue pursuing my goals in a faster pace than I anticipated. I even, and even better, go even farther. I hope one day I will also be able to help struggling students reach their goals in higher education by assisting them in the same way you are helping me today. Thank you. Thank you for all the hard work you do behind the scene to make this possible. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for belief on us, for not let us alone. Thank you for contributing on my life, life changing and help me get one step closer to my future to six. Together, we are unstoppable. Thank you. We're pleased to have some great entertainment tonight and some educational entertainment tonight. And our first up is a mixology demonstration courtesy of Sullivan's Restaurant in Wauseon. So welcome to them tonight. And after a good drink, everybody can use a little bit of dessert as well. And our second demonstration tonight is a dessert demonstration, courtesy of Defiance's A Little Slice of Heaven. And A Little Slice of Heaven is going to show us how to whip up a delicious cheesecake.
And we've reached that portion of the night where we get to one of the most fun portions of our green carpet event, and that's where we unveil our winners of the Making a Difference Awards for 2021, the 11th annual green carpet event. And we start off tonight with Terry Henricks, Ford and Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Terry Henricks Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Archbold opened up in 1989 and has proudly served the community throughout its history. The commitment to service begins the moment the customer walks into the dealership where they're treated with fairness, courtesy, and respect. Repeat customers for new and used vehicles as well as top-notch service department are common at Terry Henricks. This level of customer dedication has made them a deserving award winner many times over, including some awards very few dealerships have ever attained. Service to the community is also big with Terry Henricks, both the person and the business. Terry and his team not only support numerous community endeavors with their checkbook, but also by rolling up their sleeves and putting the work in to make the community better here in Northwest Ohio. Schools, festivals, sports, and racing teams alike have received support over the years from Terry Henricks, our Business Making a Difference Award winner tonight. Terry Hendricks is a family environment. Uh, we try to treat everybody like family, employees, customers, anybody that walks in the door. So um, it's small town community, family community. So we try to make our business that way as well. They're always involved in any any situation that we have, especially athletics in particular. Um, you know, I coach baseball, and they're always helping us out with fields, fundraisers, um, things that we need. Um, you know, like I said, they're always involved with that. And one thing I always like is that you know they get their hands dirty. So when we need people to actually help out instead of just writing a check, you know, they're always here to to say you know throw some hands our way and and help us out with that. Well, it, it's a real joy for us, it, whether it's buying a, 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 a lamb at the fair or be a part of the uh, parade or, or, or a, a golf tournament or, or even a little league team. It's just a, a great thing to see that those entities exist and that we can help that uh, continue. Service is a big word. Um, we uh, first strive to do business the right way. So by serving our community, you know, when we, when we sell a car, service a car, try to do it with integrity. Um, we try to do um, what we want it to be done to us, you know. So we want to do business um, the way we want to go into a business and do it. For, for Terry Hendricks, um, he is the most humble guy you're ever going to meet. And Terry, he doesn't, he, he has no facade. He has no, he, he's Terry every day. As far as the business goes, um, the recognition is awesome. Um, we, we try and do it right. We try, and, we try and make sure that we take care of people, that we're very transparent, that we're easy to do business with, and to be recognized for that is, is great. One of the sayings he has um, is it has to be as good for the customer as it is for the dealership. So in that, it, it can't be fantastic for the dealership and terrible for the customer because the customer will never come back and see us. It can't be fantastic uh, every time for the customer because we won't have employees because we won't be able to pay the payroll. Mm -hmm. um, so by that he, um, that's how he does business um, every day and that's how he's treated, uh, uh, that's how he's coached us and taught us how to do business. He came from 30 plus years at GM and bought a Chrysler dealership that nobody thought was even worth buying and we went from 10 employees to 85 employees. Um, just the growth in the dealership itself um, shows his dedication to the people, the community, and, and what he has to offer. One of the things that we really value is employee retention. We have people that have been around for a long time, uh, 25, 30 plus years, and we've had a lot of folks that have retired from our dealerships. Mm -hmm. And that's how we make relationships, is by having people that you know and trust that you can walk in any day of the week and they're gonna be here for you. I'm very ecstatic that he had an opportunity to receive this award. I, I think it's one of those things where you have hardworking individual that maybe stay under the radar and, and aren't the flashiest and, and I think that's Terry and, and like I said he doesn't need to get the you know doesn't need the credit for doing what he uh, does hard work and, and um, I think for him I, I just think that's an absolute honor to see him get that. 
community supports us. So we support them and it's, uh, it's, it's very rewarding. We're now to the Organization Making a Difference Award winner tonight, and we're proud to award that tonight to Farm Bureaus of Defiance, Fulton, Henry, and Williams Counties. They've been serving the area for over 100 years in a variety of capacities. One of the major foci of education to students grades three and up is what Farm Bureaus of Defiance, Fulton, Henry, and Williams County does. Agriculture is one of the driving forces, of course, in our region's economy, and Farm Bureau has been at the forefront, providing children's ag books to every public school library in the four-county area. This helps provide a greater understanding of agriculture for the next generation of potential farmers and ag industry workers. Another area where Farm Bureau of Defiance, Fulton, Henry, and Williams County has excelled throughout the years is its passionate advocacy on behalf of farm families to local, state, and federal legislators. By developing strong working relationships with elected officials, Farm Bureau can continue to advocate on behalf of individuals and family farms to ensure agriculture is able to thrive in any economic condition. This allows family farms to sustain itself and grow, which provides a higher quality of life for everyone. Our organization winner for the green carpet this year is the Farm Bureaus of Defiance, Fulton, Henry, and Williams Counties. Uh, Farm Bureau has made a large impact in my life. It, it's taken me to places, um, you know, we get to go to D.C., we get to meet the congressman, we get to go down to Columbus, we get to interact with our leg local legislators down there to express our concerns and feelings on, on what we think and where we should go with things. Farm Bureau does a really good job of understanding what the issues are in our local communities, and so when you have a good grasp of what the issues are, you can rally volunteers for a particular cause uh, quite easily. Well, our Farm Bureau mission is uh, working together for Ohio farmers to advance agriculture and strengthen our communities. And Farm Bureau does a tremendous job of on-site government training. That has totally enhanced my vision of our government of how, how uh, democratic it is for anybody that wants to participate. Other ways that Ohio State Extension has, has partnered with Farm Bureau is, is uh, most notably in a local context has been the Breakfast on the Farm events that Farm Bureau partnered with us on in our local soil and water conservation district back in 2015 and 2019. Uh, to, together, we, we led that group of volunteers to put on an event that, that collectively attracted uh, over 6,000 people. In many cases, people that, that were coming to a farm for the first time to see how modern food production happens. There's a big need to educate the public about where does our food come from? How do we get food uh, locally produced? And um, who are our farmers? So a lot of our programs are tied to that. There, there's a lot of young individuals out here that are involved in FFA and 4-H, but they've never had the opportunity to come in and see this or go out to a farmer's field and, and ask him, why do you put on fertilizer? Why do you spray for weeds? Why do you do pest management? One of the things that has stayed constant with Farm Bureau is uh, their interest and their desire to help youth. Okay, and I think that that's something we collectively work at at OSU Extension and Farm Bureau. They concentrate on uh, con continuous education and exposure and advocacy with their members so that they actively, individually get involved. When, when we couldn't get much planted here in Northwest Ohio due to the excess of rain, uh, we held a, uh, a farmer appreciation dinner up at the Hamler Summerfest. Uh, we had over a hundred farmers show up and we thought it was a good idea. Just there was a lot of stress going on, you know, guys didn't know how they were going to progress throughout the future, how they were going to, you know, make ends meet. It was really good uh, to sit there and watch them talk and, and talk about their feelings and talk about the stresses and, and listen to the crop insurance adjusters and, and we were there to help. Farm Bureau youth representatives served on county junior fair boards. Um, and then Farm Bureau is a big proponent of lobbying on behalf of 4-H. Uh, 
to make sure that we have uh, programming, that we have um, monetary resources, that we have staffing available in every county uh, to support the 4-H programs. Some of, of the four county Farm Bureau members are some of the best volunteers at improving, at opening, at winterizing 4-H Camp Palmer. And uh, that camp on an annual basis makes a difference for 200 4-H members and more schools that, that use that facility for band camps and other youth related activities. The future of Farm Bureau is just increasing and I think it's better understood by the young generation that they are working with multiple people in their farms, employees, and they are loaded with management decisions. They need help. They need representation. And they need to know the representatives and senators. And that is an area the Farm Bureau excels in. The Four County Farm Bureau and Farm Bureau in general, and Roy Norman as, as organizational director, deserve this Making a Difference Award because uh, they, they sincerely care about the issues that, uh, that affect and impact the local community. Time now for our individual Making a Difference Award winner for the Green Carpet event for 2021. And our winner for that is Daniel Yaris of the Bryan Chamber. When you think of Bryan, Ohio, one man immediately comes to mind, and that's Dan. Dan lives and breathes Bryan in Williams County. He's a passionate person about sharing this history of the area and also the city's Chamber of Commerce. His nominee noted Dan spends a lot of time investing in community leaders and educating them with history, public resources, and community involvement. Dan's grandfather was also the city's chamber director, and Dan proudly follows in those footsteps. One of the areas where Dan has made the most impact in the community is through the leadership Williams County classes. Many people who have gone through those classes have eventually run for public office, and that is a credit to Dan and his dedication to serving others. Dan's a proud father and grandfather, and his family is his pride and joy. Dan is also a devout Christian, serving his church and community, and working with the Great Banquet in Bryan to help others in their walk with Christ. Our individual Making a Difference Award winner for Green Carpet 2021 here at Northwest State Community College is Daniel Yaris. you see him he has a smile on his face he's so excited to see you um, he calls you by name um, very seldom have I seen him not know the person's name and he'll want to give you a hug COVID has really um, <laughs> made it difficult for him because he always wants to give you a hug uh, but he just makes people feel good uh, about themselves he was a member of the Ohio Chamber and he was on that board for a while so we got a lot of good ideas from that and brought them back to Bryan and really implemented them and have really done a lot of good things for the Bryan area and the businesses and the local town. I am in my 23rd year, mm -hmm. second longest chamber director um, behind only one guy, my grandfather. Uh, his grandfather was heavily involved in the community, um, was part of the chamber. Um, his mom is currently city council, city council member. Um, his brother is uh, the director of the Williams County Library. We're here to promote and enhance the, the quality of life as well as the business community. Um, we are also here to help plan a growth and vision of our community overall. He creates, he participates, he leads all of these projects. Uh, within Williams County to help benefit the Williams County itself. He actually uh, asked me to do Leadership Williams County for probably a couple of years before I could actually do it, but um, very passionate about that and um, passionate about Brian. I mean, he uh, lives and breathes Brian, and I think he always has, and um, I just think uh, again, I think he has a very infectious personality. When you get around him, you can tell his love for Brian. My favorite uh, program that we run is Leadership Williams County. 
I think I am in my 13th class and, and every class that I've had, I, I get very attached to. Seeing someone reach their potential or go beyond is why I love that so much. Um, uh, it's challenging people to become better. Give them a motto of don't leave, don't leave here wishing you would have. Uh, it's okay to fail, mm -hmm. but it's you also have to push yourself to try the next thing, try the next thing, and, and continue to try that thing. And that's what I continue to try to teach in Leadership Williams County. He's talked to me in a lot of different capacities as far as that goes. Is, and one of the things that's kind of rubbed off of me and I tell other people is find something you're passionate about and go do it. Um, serve your community and serve it well. Um, Leadership Williams County is a perfect example of that. Um, we're trying to develop leaders for the future. Uh, spending a lot of time with those individuals and helping them grow with the community, within the community and trying to find something that they're passionate about. I don't think that there is another individual, at least not to my knowledge, that has taken that passion to do that. To be able to build those relationships with community-minded individuals, um, I, it has allowed me to expand my leadership um, in the community with regards to the health care of, of our community, being on the board of the YMCA, um, being a part of NAMI, those are the kind of things that I feel helped get me into um, those type of leadership roles. We're both the member of the Great Banquet community, which is more of a religious-based community that I've done several things with Dan um, and his passion for music um, and his passion for Christ. Uh, he shares that and that and again it just shows his passion for a lot of different things and when he believes in something how he's all in. I could not do this job without a ton of people. There are too many to mention. Uh, you know, board of directors that has always given me the the freedom to do what I need to do when I needed to do it. Uh, a staff that backs me 100%. Um, chamber presidents over the years that have been fantastic to work with. Um, a business community that supports us in in good times and bad times. This it couldn't be done without him. He doesn't have any other motive than to benefit Williams County and the community. It's all about what he can do to support the community and those that are in the community. It's a tribute to him and his family to, to show you how much that family has contributed and how much they really do care about Brian. I'm very honored to welcome up to the stage for the green carpet event for 2021 here at Northwest State Community College, the chairman of our foundation board here at Northwest State, and welcome up Peter Beck again for 2021. Peter is a tireless leader here in Northwest Ohio and here at Northwest State as well, and many of the things that we enjoy and the students enjoy are made possible thanks to his leadership and the rest of the foundation board coming together to make these things possible. So for our closing remarks tonight, well, let's welcome up to the stage the Green Carpet 2021 and our foundation chair, Peter Beck. On behalf of the Northwest State Community College and foundation, we thank you for being part of honoring our 2021 Making a Difference Award recipients. Northwest State Community College Foundation each year honors individuals, organizations, and businesses that have a positive impact on our communities. And tonight, these recipients from these communities truly are caring leaders that help fulfill dreams of many. We are fortunate that in our area, we are filled with such good people, organizations and companies just like tonight's three recipients who feel responsible for the needs of many in a personal and caring way without expectation, reward, or recognition. Northwest State Community College and Foundation understands it is important to recognize the many that do so much. And tonight we are delighted to honor the individual award to Daniel Yaris, organization award to Farm Bureaus of Defiance, Fulton, Henry, and Williams County, and business award to Terry Hendricks, Ford, and Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Over the past 11 years, we have honored 33 different Making a Difference Award recipients, 
and each year I continue to become more and more humble listening to the stories and understanding there are so many compassionate individuals that reside in Northwest Ohio. I would like to thank the many individuals and companies who helped support this evening's event through sponsorship and gifts, which are helping provide scholarships for students attending this great institution. Each year we celebrate with current and future students as they receive notification of scholarships with a reception along with meeting the donors. The past two years, due to social distancing, the reception was made live on the internet. Our foundation had the pleasure to hand out a record-breaking amount of over $834,000 in scholarships, which will support 295 students that will continue their education here at Northwest State Community College. Looking back since 2010, our foundation provided an astounding $4 million in scholarships to individuals who live and work in our communities. Northwest State Community College Foundation success begins with the leadership and dedication of our foundation director of development, Robin Wilcox, and continues with our board members who exceedingly are generous with their time and wisdom and guidance. These dedicated members who live in our communities we serve ensure the foundation remains committed to its mission and guiding principles in helping change the lives of many students who attend this college. Tonight you heard Pamela Steppe share her story of the personal challenges she was faced with. There are many stories of students like Pamela's with challenges that they face and each story is unique and personal, and that is what inspires our foundation to work hard in securing funds so that m many can continue to provide educational opportunities that help students set their path for life. On behalf of Northwest State Community College Foundation, we congratulate our 2021 Making a Difference Award recipients. The impact that you make to the lives of others is so important for our communities and so appreciated. And it is with my pleasure that we now add you, your name to the growing list of past recipients and the name a few is Norm Zider, Swanton Welding, North Star Blue Scope Steel, Ed and Carol Novzinger, SJS Investments, Farmer Merchant State Bank. Once again, congratulations to Daniel Yaris, Farm Bureau of Defiance, Fulton, Henry, and Williams County, and Terry Hendricks, Ford and Chrysler Dodge Ram Jeep. You truly are outstanding, compassionate leaders who value the importance of making a difference in many ways for many people in our communities. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter, and thank you to the foundation for making the lives of our students better each and every year with your hard work and dedication and the board's hard work and dedication. We'd really like to thank our sponsors for making a different green carpet event possible for 2021. Without their support and their generosity, we can't do a lot of these things. So thank you very much to the sponsors who are helping make the green carpet event and Northwest State Dreams come true. Thank you to those sponsors as well tonight. And thank you for being a part of our event tonight. We appreciate your involvement and your support of the students at Northwest State Community College. Congratulations again to our Making a Difference Award winners, and thank you. Have a great evening tonight here on a Friday in Northwest Ohio.